when I graduated high school in 2014 and I got my first job uh, prior to that, flipping uh, uh, pizzas and prepping food at a little Italian restaurant, and dishwasher, prepping food and stuff like that. Roughly about a year between 2014, 2015, a little bit of 2016, I got introduced to the network marketing industry. The first one was a direct sales company called Cutco, where I was selling knives, right? Then it was affiliate marketing or distributor marketing with Invicta watches. I signed up to be a distributor, bought a couple of watches, sold the watches. So that's distributor type of affiliate marketing, direct sales, network marketing. The first company I got introduced was ACN. Then after that, it was Nerium. Then it was It Works. Then it was Herbalife. Then it was Isogenics. Then it was uh, The Secret or Secret. Then it was Jeunesse. I mean, it was a ton. I got introduced to many different ones, joined a bunch of different ones, literally failed at all of them because I, I ended up quitting. Not because I wasn't necessarily making money. I, I sold product, made a little money, sold product, made a little money, but eventually quit because it just wasn't in alignment with my purpose and values. It didn't get me closer to helping moms achieve financial freedom, create, restore their kingdom in their household. So it didn't align with that message. And then I didn't even know what my purpose was, right? So then I came across Legal Shield around 2016, I believe 2017. I never joined the business, but I became a client. Reason why I became a client was because my father experienced injustice, okay? He was wrongly accused of a bank robbery, okay? This was all over the news in New York at that time. Served 10 to 11 years or more, I think, in prison and was proven innocent. So he lost 11 years of his life, roughly. He lost the ability to raise a son. We're living in the greatest country in the world. And even that occurred. There's many stories. You see the movies, you've seen the movies. The Hurricane by Denzel Washington. Um, the more recent one with uh, Michael B. Jordan and Jamie Foxx. I mean, you hear the stories, right? Over and over and over again of people being wrongly convicted, innocent crimes. They didn't do the crime, but they did the time, right? And so, the way their mission, their company, their values, it struck a chord at that time. I said, oh, mm, all right. Well, my father went through that. And, you know, we're living in a time now where there's a lot of division. We're not unified, really, as a country. Got a lot of different cultures. Got a lot of different histories, a lot of stains with different cultures. A lot of problems going on, a lot of chaotic events. So I say, you know, fast forward to now, this was in 2017, 2016, I was thinking, oh, this could be a, you know, this could be a really good product for myself to protect myself in the event I'm in a bind, I'm in a situation. I get pulled over by the police and God forbid, I get the wrong cop on the wrong day. That could happen. Now, thankfully, never had an issue with police officers. They've treated me with respect the whole time. I got pulled over. Every time I got pulled over, it's because I did something wrong. I sped, went past the stop sign, took a red light, was speeding on the highway, and more than 50% of the time, I walked away without a ticket. Very respectful police officers. So from my experience, I've had nothing but good experiences with police officers in terms of my interaction. Regardless of my circumstance, skin color, whatever it is, haven't had any issues. Now, could it happen? Sure. Right? Could I be rolling in a, in a state that is, you know, leaning one way, leaning this way, and, you know, I run through a, a speeding on the highway on 75, 95, whatever it is. If I'm in a situation, I get a bad, I get a bad cop or a cop on a bad day, I could tap into that Legal Shield product, call an attorney right off the bat, say, hey, Mr. Attorney, Mrs. Attorney, listen, I just got pulled over. I'm being pulled over right now. I'm pulling over slowly. I don't feel comfortable. It's a little dark in this area but I don't know what to do because the next exit is not for another three miles. So I don't wanna give the impression that I'm trying to run away, but I also don't wanna be on a highway at you know 12 o'clock at night where it's just me and the cop. It's his word against mine. So what do I do? Dot, dot, dot. Now you have an attorney, at least 
if you did pull over 12 o'clock at night on the highway, you got an attorney on the phone that can speak on your behalf. God forbid that were to happen. More chords are being struck. I'm like, this has got to be a great, this is a great product. This is a great service. God forbid, if anything, if I get sued, you know, someone comes after me on my YouTube channel. You know, that's the best way to probably silence me or censor me. You know, we're living in a time with censorship, right? Where any little freaking thing you say offends, you know, two people. And then you're now canceled. You got cancel culture. You've got censorship. You got big tech companies running like governments, basically. They're like virtual governments. And so you've got all these different parameters. As a young entrepreneur, again, keeping an eye on this. This was my mindset thinking back in 2016, 2017. So I was a customer of the product for about three to four years. And then uh, in 2019 is when I actually registered to enroll and become an associate uh, agent in the business, which gives me the ability to sell the product to other people.